What's up, fam? It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, and we got a new series, and it's called You Requested It. Yes, You Requested It. Um, so excited to be able to embark on this, and, and in this first installment of the You Requested It series, we're going to be looking at Ecamm designs in Canva. Um, all of these different scenes that I have done and you have been after me for, I am going to show you how to build them in Canva and then set them up in Ecamm. So without any further ado, let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent, and I teach small businesses, entrepreneurs, and faith-based entities how to simplify live video mechanics so they can shine a floodlight on their brand. And in this video, we are looking at Ecamm designs in Canva, Ecamm scene designs in Canva. Let's get after it. So here we are in Canva. We're looking at uh, basically all my designs. Um, I'm going to build out the design from scratch. And so first thing we want to do is click on create a design. I always go to custom size. You can go to several different things here. A video has the right size, but then it's going to have some video functions and features there. So I go to custom size and then go to 1920 by 1080. So that gives me the right size canvas uh, for for video. <laughs> so 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 you design your your scenes, of course, for video. So 1920 by 1080 is where we are. Then the first thing I want to do, uh, depending on what I'm what I'm going to do with the picture, what I'm going to do with the scene, I may not want white. But in this case, it doesn't really matter because I don't think I'm going to make anything transparent. I'm not going to turn down the opacity. So first thing I want to do is go to photos. Now, you can just pick whatever you want, but everybody has been after me about this laptop photo. Where did you get that laptop thing? Where did you get that laptop? So you could just, you know, search in photos for a MacBook. Or um, you could search in there for a mug. But if I go to see, see all of my recent ones, you're going to see this one right here is is the one that you've probably been seeing for a very long time. In fact, this is the one that you're watching right now in the scene that we're, we're, we're using to record this video. And so there's a set of books on the side and you're saying, hey, that doesn't look like the scene. It's exactly the scene. It's just that. I have pushed in a little bit. So you got to think about this for a second. This square is very small and I want you to be able to see prominently what's on my screen. So I want that to be bigger than pretty much anything else. So what I ended up having to do is drag this out a ways uh, and then cut that side. I think that's about about where it is right there. Uh, yeah, cut that side of the, 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 the desk and then kind of pull this out as well until that we, we almost have the cup cut off there as well. So that pretty much is how it gives me the same scene that we're looking at right now. And, and, and so then all I did was to basically frame out this section on the screen and put a, a block here for us to be able to, to see my video. So let's do that real quick as well. So we go up, up, to, up here to elements and then grab a square. Um, we're going to try and size this as best we can to take up the white space on the laptop screen. That for the most part does it. I think it just a little more here. And that, for the most part, does it. So now we just want to put a frame on that on that screen. One of the things that is probably good to do, and I, I usually do this and make sure I'm going to do this with you guys as well, is to just pick a green color um, for your for the base of whatever you're going to cut out. So we're going to we're going to go into uh, Finder. Uh, sorry, we're going to go into Preview um, after we export this scene out. And we're going to be able to use that to cut out this green section. So uh, because we're going to do that with preview, I'm going to put a border around the screen. And I think that looks fairly accurate, but I do want that border to be white. So now we have that there. We're good to go. Now I want one more block. 
this 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 square that I'm doing now is the one that is for me. Um, I got it right above the cup. It's about right there, kind of, sort of. Um, same deal, same same idea, same thing that applies here. Make this green. Make this one white. Pull this over here. I want this to be a, a little bit smaller. So we pull that down. Get that to the corner there. And we get that to the corner there. And we are good to go. The only thing left to do, I'm, I'm just a stickler for, you know, being somewhat, you know, symmetric. So I'm going to make sure I put this right above the cup and have it lined up properly. Um, the only other thing now to do is just copy um, my, or my logo and my social images onto the the scene. And this scene is pretty much done. So there you have my logo and my social uh, <clears throat> social media platforms on here. I'm just going to put how it all works dot com, YouTube dot com slash Kirk R. Nugent. Both of them are on here. And now you're seeing the exact same scene that we've rebuilt. I'm going to go over here to the, the actual scenes themselves and you kind of get a chance to see where all, all of them are. Here's one here. Here's the iPad scene. And again, it has that frame around it with the green inside. This is where my video sits. This is the one that I created the same scene. I just basically chopped this in half so that I could have myself and a guest plus the laptop screen. So we have that there. This is another one that I've, I use during the midweek huddle. And so you kind of get a feel for what that looks like. But it's the same concept across the board. I just basically build them out the same way I've done in this one. Grab a, a picture, an image. Look, let's add another page here. Let's go back to photos. Let's go to the recent images. And you, you can see there's there's a ton of them here. I mean, you can use any one of these um, to, 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 to create your scene in whatever way you want. I mean, the, the, the best thing to do here is to kind of explore and just have at it right there's not necessarily a wrong way as long as you can even get them into ecamm and, and and be able to put your videos behind them which is what we're going to do after we show you the hack uh to be able to make those green parts transparent using preview let's do that right now so here we are on my desktop and i've downloaded that design just downloaded it didn't make it transparent or anything like that i just downloaded the design uh, we didn't even name it so it's actually called untitled design so I'm going to open that up right now. So that opens up on screen and you can see that here now. Um, first thing to do is to go up to, to view the view menu um, and then go to show markup toolbar. You can do command shift a or you can come here and do it like this. Once you have that, you want to click on the second icon on your toolbar, which is called instant alpha. Click that. And once that's there, we can just just click and drag slightly in the green area because that's the area you want to cut out and once you have that little centipede looking line going around the green square you want to hit that the delete key on your keyboard and that cuts that part out and makes it transparent same thing we want to do here for the laptop boom cut that part out makes it transparent and we're pretty much good to go uh, the last thing you want to do is save it so you want to go to file and go ahead and click on save and so now we have this scene already saved and ready to go so now how do we import it into ecamm i'm going to show you that right now so here we are on my desktop and we are ready to go i'm in live demo mode and here is the the, the design that we just created and so what i'm going to do now is create a new scene so hit this plus sign in the scenes window that allows me to create a new scene i'm still over here on the right guys <laughs> so we got a new scene here and I'm just going to go ahead and drag this untitled design into the scene. There that goes. And it's it's here. It's right size. We're just going ahead and lock that. I like to make sure I lock that. Hit this uh, camera overlay. Um, change this to the camera that you want it to be. And make it custom. And then just kind of drag it into the side here. Um, if you did not know, one of the things you can do is command tilde to get rid of some of the stuff on screen to make it a little easier for you to, you know, design and do the things you need to do in Ecamm. I love that they've given us that feature. Once you have this thing right, you always want to make sure it's a little bit bigger than your your white space um, and then just drag the oh, the um, the scene itself, the design above your camera. All right. So you can see that 
I'm in the shot now, just the way that we always have been. Next thing we want to do is add another camera. And here, again, we want to make sure this is uh, custom. And I'm going to change this to my desktop. So here's the desktop. And same thing we were looking at before. I'm going to try to... Um, in, in, in this instance, you kind of want, because you, you're showing your screen, you don't want it to be custom. You want it to be wide, 16 by 9, so that you kind of keep that aspect ratio the way that it's supposed to be. And so we kind of pull that out there. It is not cooperating with me, but you just kind of have to keep on sizing until you get it where you want it to be. And so that's almost there, almost there. And something like that is going to do it. Let's pull it down a little bit it's, and we will lock that into place as well and then drag the design up above. And then there you have it. You have the scenes all designed um, in in use in Ecamm and you would do the same thing for any of the other designs that you would want to do. So there you have it. Right. You requested it. You asked for this. You were saying, hey, Kirk, how do you how are you using this laptop scene? In fact, somebody even said, can I can I get one created for me that has uh, my logo on? And I was like, sure. And, and, and yeah, listen, guys, if you want this kind of stuff done for you, this is what we do at Composition, the company that my wife and I run. We build out full live stream packages for clients. We do remote production for clients. So you want to take a look at KirkArndugent.com. Uh, it is a new website, has all of our services there, the coaching, the live video strategy, the remote production. And, and some speaking too, uh, but definitely we're proud of that space that we've created and proud of of, of this community that is, is behind us 5,000%. Uh, so hopefully something we shared here today in this request video uh, was helpful for you. Hopefully it, it, it hit home and you're like, good, cool, now I know how to do that. Um, some of the stuff was refreshers, it's kind of amalgamation, we just pulled tips that we've shown in different other videos, but I just kind of put it all together in this one for you guys to be able to see what we do to create those scenes. And I'm hoping that this was useful for you, hoping that you got your, some value from it. And I, I would love for you to tag me in the designs that you create using this method. So as we close it out here, man, I'm, I mean, listen, we're still on our journey, right? We're in the middle of the summer at this point, coming into July. We want to make sure that we are moving towards our goal to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. Um, really hoping that you guys can help us with that. Share these videos, continue to watch the content. We've got playlists. Go ahead and watch those playlists. There's there maybe something that you've missed along the way and some other hack or whatever. And listen, if you've got ideas for videos, let us know in the comments because I con constantly write those down. Sometimes that we'll put them in this series, the You Requested It series, but other times we'll just make it into our general series for StreamYard, Restream, Ecamm, and others. Uh, but man, we're excited about you. We're excited about this space. We're excited about how it all works. And we're hoping that you'll take this journey with us and subscribe. Smash that bell so you can be notified when we go live and when we upload new content. Also, hit that like button on our videos. It really helps. It helps with the algorithm. It, it helps to elevate our videos and, and make it into the suggested list for other people as they're watching content on the platform. Listen, it's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, somewhere while we showed off how to create these scenes that you have been requesting, that you were able to figure out how it all works. Oh man, so excited about this space and excited about you. Waiting to hear from you in the comments and I will see you in the next video.